internal validity versus external validity. So let's look at the difference. Internal validity is how accurate is the results in your study. So if I did a study on smoking and tobacco, um, actually if I did a study on tobacco use or smoking and whether that causes periodontal disease, internal validity looks at is it true? Is what I am saying in my study true? Is what I'm saying that, you know, smoking causes periodontal disease? Is that true? Is that accurate? How do you know? How do you know if it's true? How do you know if it's accurate? Well, you want to make sure that you um, have a good and a strong study. In that previous video that we looked at, we were looking at how, well, how ways you can strengthen the study, right? So there are many ways you can strengthen the study. And if you use all those methods, then you have good internal validity. So for example, some of the things we talked about was we get rid of any extraneous variables. So when people come and participate in your study, they are in a comfortable environment. It's not too loud, they're not pressed for time, they're not too tired, because all that can affect your study. If you have um, good study participants um, and you also have a large sample size, so you have a thousand people participating in your study versus five people, well, the more sample size you have, that's better. If you collect good data and if you use the right um, data analysis, if you use the right math to calculate your um, findings, those are all ways to make your study good, to make your study strong. And when your study is strong and accurate, it increases the internal validity. If you have a cross-sectional study, which is a study that you just do one, one time, versus a longitudinal study, which is a study you do for a long period of time, well, the longitudinal study improves internal validity. If you do a study repeatedly for a long period of time, that makes the study better. That makes the study stronger. That makes the results of the study more accurate, which in turn helps with internal validity. So internal validity is basically looking at how accurate are the results in your study? How truthful is your study? External validity is looking at the generalization. It's looking at whether the findings from this study can be transferred over to real life. So for example, if I did that same study on smoking and, and uh, periodontal disease, if, whether, if smoking causes periodontal disease or smoking causes any type of disease, I know I did that in my study, but is the, and, and everyone in my study um, who smoke have periodontal disease, but is that true of everyone else in the real world? If I look around around me when I go outside, would that also be true? But would all those other smokers also I get periodontal disease? So is it generalizable? Can you generalize the results? Can the results from your study be transferred over to everyone else in the population at large or everyone else in real life? If so, if it is generalizable, if it if we can assume that the results from the study can be transferred over to everyone else in the real life, then we can say it has good external validity. How can you, um, how can you check for external validity? Well, you want to look at the sample size. You want to make sure that the people that you looked at for your first study, does that you know, are they the good sample? Are they? Do we have enough people to make that assumption? Are those individuals that came forward? Do they have any bias? So you want to make sure that sampling techniques are good, are representative of, of everyone else. That's one way you can you can check for external validity. So again, the more people you have in your study, the better the external validity. And what is external validity? It's can the results of your original study be transferred over, be generalized to everyone else in real life? And what is internal validity? Well, can the results or are the results even true? If the results are true in your study, that's good. That's internal validity. You have good internal validity if it's true. And then external validity is will those results transfer over in real life? And if so, if it's true that smoking happens, uh, smoking causes periodontal disease with other people that are around us, then that's good external validity.